Welcome back to MTR. Brunella Hajati. Secret. What does that mean? Does it mean secret? Hmm. I'm doing the official video because Albania has a history of revamping their stuff after their national finals. So we do have the live one from three months ago and the video from one month ago, and I do know they've revamped it. So we're talking about the composition and I'll flick through the live one myself and, and see how she is live anyway. So we'll analyze this and see what's going on. Listening to the chords. I love how they're using traditional instruments all the time. Pum, pum. Go. Ah. I really like this. It is interesting. What a cool riff. I'm going to stop it there because I've already played it for long enough. There are so many things. What is the instrument? It's a traditional double reeded instrument, but I don't know what it is and I'll, I'll check it out anyway. The mix of English in the chorus, I'm not sure if the original did have that, but there is nothing cooler. Like, yes, we high female vocals are all the rage half the time, but then a low-pitched female vocal. In my opinion, it, it done well, obviously. Sensuous. It's sensuous. And that's a lot of the reason why I loved Belgium 2017 by Blanche, because of those raw, low-pitched female vocals and then here though contrasting in the chorus where she is singing much higher and you have that contrast straight up we're at 143 but there was something else that got me i mean of course you have your da 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 very syncopated beat on that membrana phone or uh, type drum Love that silence. Hear how that instrument and the vocalist, um, Ronella, hear how they're interacting, that they're around the same pitch, but that traditional instrument's coming in first and she's kind of imitating, but doing her own thing. It's, it's very interesting the way that they interact. Listen, because usually what happens is that that instrument will be at a higher pitch or a lower pitch depending on where the vocalists are because having them so close together can be a very dangerous compositionally, but this works. Ready? Go. It's kind of like a call and response, isn't it? All right, I got to keep going. I know sometimes you're like... Why are you stopping so much? Because I have to analyze.
Not much going on harmonically here, just the drums, a little bit of strings and vocal harmony. Then pushing forward with the additional drums. Beautiful. I love it. The unpredictability as well. Love hearing that solo there too. And then hear that as she's falling, that higher pitch, but ever so slightly moving off that note as a kind of glissando heading into that last section. Contrast. Oh, it's the end. I'm not sure about that ending. I'm going to see how the original live ended it, and I don't know what the revamp would have been. Let's just see that in context, because I stopped it a lot. Okay, so you've got that solo. Contrast with the lower. And where's she? Oh yeah, I think it works. Yeah. And I actually wasn't going to do this, so who was the person who told me? Um, who asked me? Ah, yes. Lisa Stanley. Okay. I mean, I don't usually do shout outs all the time, but I'm really happy I got to do this. Thank you. Um, straight to one of my favorites. Straight. Uh, it's just not even doing well in the odds. What, what's going on? I don't know what she's like live. I'm going to check that out later, but I am impressed. Thank you. Let me know in the comments down below your thoughts. Um, this is an interesting piece. Up there with France in terms of interesting as well, to be honest. But I love the way that this is pushing boundaries, but at the same time, having several elements that we can actually understand, such as typical pop harmony progressions and then traditional use of harmony and melody. Amazed. Thank you again. Until next time.